Hi, I'm Linda from Barlati's Body Blitz. Welcome to Target 15 Ankle Weights. For today's workout, all you will need is a set of light ankle weights. I'm just using one kilo or two pounds for each leg. Now, if you want to do this whole workout without, you can definitely do that. Or if you want to go slightly heavier, you can, and you might just want to go a bit slower. We're doing 15 rounds of 60 second intervals. So if you need to take a break at any time, you can press pause, but I would actually rather you slow down the reps rather than stop altogether. You can go at your own pace for this workout. It is an interval-based timed workout. So once you see the exercise, go at a challenging rate for you. You don't have to keep up with me. Once I press start, there's no stopping. So make sure you've got your ankle weights strapped on securely and make sure they're not digging into you. And we're gonna get started straight away. All of the exercises are on the mat. So yes, nice on the mat, but no, not going to help you really because there's still gonna be a big burn. Enough talk. So pressing start, come into this C curve position, tummy in and coming back like this. Put your hands down. We're gonna come out and out in and in. So you're tapping your toes out and out, then tapping them in and in. So you want to make an arc with those legs and you're trying to come out so that your legs are at an angle and then bringing them back together again. So you want to hold your tummy in here. The majority of your balance is through the core. So yes, you've got your arms on the ground, but really you're using your core to keep you up, out and out, in and in. I'm only lightly tapping my toes down and I'm feeling this in my inner thighs, my hip flexors, my abs, it's all happening. Out and out, in and in. Just 10 more seconds and then we're lying down on our back. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Lie down on your back. Bring your knees up and put your hands to the side. We're gonna go open and then one leg raise to the other side, one bent leg leg raise. So you're doing like a windscreen wiper, trying to get as far to the side as you can and then doing a leg raise. Opening up, it's very important to keep your tummy in here and to make sure your back is against the mat, okay? If you can't bring that leg down all the way to the side, you might want to come here. That's an option. Across, leg raise. So these first few are a little bit easier because I want you to be fully warmed up. And across, 10 seconds. We're staying on the mat and we're gonna put our legs up in the air after four, three, two, one, so bring your legs up in the air. We're going to open out, come together, scissor, scissor, big scissor. Open out, come together, scissor, scissor, and then straight scissor. Open out wide, come together, scissor, scissor, straight legs. This is slow and controlled because the ankle weights make it a lot tougher, straight legs. So open out wide. Pull your inner thighs together. Scissor, scissor, straight scissor. Your back is in the mat. Pull your inner thighs. Scissor, scissor, straight, straight. If you can't come down as low as me in those straight leg scissors, then just come to here. Okay, come down to your low point. Nearly done with this. Scissor, scissor, straight, Straight, sitting up, come back into that nice position, but this time further back. Legs are slightly up and we're gonna do another sweep and sweep, but this time with straight legs. So you're sweeping to the side and your legs are following each other. Across and across. If you can't do this with straight legs, then do bent legs, across, and across, okay? That's your option. But if you can, I really want you to try and open out and sweep those legs. Circle those legs. Are you feeling your abs yet? Across wide. Oh, feeling inner thighs and outer thighs too. 10 seconds. Seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, and one. Stay seated, support yourself again. We're going to kick our legs up for three and four and then bring them in, bring them in. So it's one, two, three and four together. Bring them in, bring them in. If you want to across the floor, three and four and maybe single leg, single leg. Otherwise hover, two, three and four together. Bring them in, bring them in. One, two, three, four together. Blow out as the knees come in. Maybe bring your chest towards your knees. Three and four together. In, this is tough. 15 seconds to go. One, two, three, four together. In, come on, 10 seconds and in. Breathe through it. Three, four together. Five, four, three, two and one. Okay, come into a side position with your elbow underneath your shoulder. We're going to do one up, push yourself up, one up. So it's one on the floor, then use your wrist, lift your hip. It's one and one. If you can't do this, just do two down here. So this is using your inner thigh. Make sure your kneecap is to the front of the room. That's going to help you to activate this inner thigh. You do not have to go as fast as me. You need to keep it safe. So if this is too hard, then slow it down. 20 seconds, up. You need to come up in line with this knee. Okay, sweep it up and then up again. Tummies are in. Do not slouch in the shoulders. Make sure your form is good. Six, five, we're switching sides, but we're doing out of thigh next. Three, two, one. Okay, we're coming to a side plank, exactly the same thing on this side but we're going to work our outer thigh. So we're down on the elbow, pushing up onto the knee and up, okay? So it's up and up, kneecap to the front. This one is a little bit slower because I want you to focus on keeping that alignment. Your hips are stacked. I'm using my fingertips here to help push me up off the ground. Up and up. This is tough, I know but you can do it. I promise that it's going to get slightly easier every time you do this workout. Functional training, moving your body up and down. If this hurts your knee, then maybe you wanna get a mat underneath that knee or double up your mat. 10 seconds and up. Breathe through it, five, four, three, two, and one. Now come into and all fours position. We're going to raise it, come up to down dog, raise it. So raise straight leg, push back, raise. Now, up to you if you wanna straighten that leg and lift as high as you can in that down dog, looking between your arms. If you can't do this, then maybe sub it for down here to up here, okay? Down here to up here, that's your option. Up and up. You need to keep your tummy in. You need, need to keep your shoulders above your wrists for this all fours position. Then push back strong. Dynamic stretch through that down dog. 10 seconds and we're sitting on our butt. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Sitting on your glutes, hands are fingertips facing. We're gonna bend this back leg. We're gonna lift the leg and lift the leg. Lift, push up, lift. Squeeze your leg, point your toe. You need to create extra tension here and really engage the quad, okay? The top of your thigh, that's what we're working. 30 seconds. If this is too much straight leg, maybe bend it and bend it. Bend and bend. Or maybe don't come up and just do two of these. I actually find it harder if I don't move. The large range of motion up here, this one here, is slightly easier. That's a trick for you. Seven, six, 
We're on our tummies after this. Four, three, two, one. All the way on your tummy. Okay, push up position with the arms. It's one up and one up. So this is similar, but we're coming from the bottom. So before we were all fours to down dog. Now we're coming prone to all fours. Slight angle changes make a big difference. Up and up. So if you can't do this push-up position, then just stay down here and lift and lift. Or maybe lift, shorten the lever, makes it easier. If you can, 18 seconds and we're on to the other side for the inner thighs. Remember those? 13, 12, and up. Total body move. Hold your time in. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Inner thighs, back down. Make sure your alignment is good. It's up and up. It's squeeze and squeeze. Kneecap to the front, leading with the inner thigh. Up and up. So every time I push myself up on my wrist, I'm not slouching and I've got my shoulder above my wrist. Okay, tummies are in. 30 seconds. Remember your options. Just stay here. If you're doing this, lift higher, all the way up. I want you to come at least in line with the leg, with the other knee. 17. Then we're turning around and doing outer thigh on the same leg. 12. Up and up. 8, 7. Take your ankle weights off if you really can't handle it. 3, 2, 1. You will get stronger with time. Other side, outer thighs. Now bend the bottom leg, line yourself up. It's up and up. Squeeze it and squeeze it. You need to get this outer thigh to activate. The only way to do it is to lift as high as you can until you feel that pinch in there. 36 and up. Squeeze and squeeze. Are you guys puffing like me or is it just because I'm talking so much? I hope you're puffing and getting a little bit of your sweat on because I'm feeling it for sure. 19 seconds and up. Then we're in all fours. 14, 13. Up. Slow down if you need to. Remember, you do not have to go at my pace. Six, five, four, three. Two, one, we're back in all fours. We're coming up and up. It's up and up. If you want to, you could come down on your elbows, then press up. You'll have to go slower, but that's an even harder option because now you're pressing on your arms as well. And up, squeeze and squeeze. Now straight leg if you want, all the way up. You can straighten it or you can bend it. Just make sure you're really nice and aligned. So your arms are nice and wide, your supporting leg is nice and wide, and your hips are facing the mat. Nine, eight, seven, six. Sitting on our butts next. Three, two, one, coming through, legs in front. We're leaning back slightly here. We're going to go up and up. So keep the front leg bent, up and push up. Try to still hold your abs in here and keep a squeeze on those triceps because you're using your arms too here and up. If you want a variation, slow it down and go from here to here. From here to here. So that's even more arm work for you. So many ways to intensify my workouts. You can add equipment. You could add another resistance loop, for example. You can elevate. Eight, seven, one, our time is next. 
You never have to outgrow my workouts. Four, three, two, one. Last exercise, people. We've got a push-up position. We are raising and we're raising. Up, push-up, up. So you're keeping everything aligned. You're looking in front of you. You're keeping your hips down to the mat, pushing up, squeezing your chest, up and up. <sighs> Breathe. You know this is a finish. Finish strong with me. I believe in you, okay? You're gonna finish with me. Just 22 seconds. Slow down if you need to. Lose the ankle weights if you need to. But please, please, please don't stop. 13, this is a short and sharp workout. We want results. We need to put in the work. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one more up and up. Done. So, did you feel that with the ankle weights? Even light ankle weights, big burn, right? Heart rate is high. Even though it was on the mat, use our entire body, definitely sweating. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you at the next workout.